Hi, and welcome to this Waveform 9.3 update video. 9.3 has arrived, and with it comes a wealth of new updates, including support for Ubuntu 18.04, enhancements to the multi-sampler, and an improved workflow for track loops. As usual, this update comes packed with bug fixes, tweaks, and improvements. Please check the description below for more details. Let's dive into the new multi-sampler functionality. New round robin and random sample playback brings a whole new level of realism to your sample programming. Simply add multiple samples to the same key zone and choose a method for sample playback. Round robin plays back the sample sequentially, while random, as the name suggests, plays back the samples in a completely random order. By selecting subtle versions of the same sample, users can create incredible lifelike performances. A welcome addition to the multi-sampler is offline time stretching and pitch shifting. By employing a cutting edge algorithm, users can radically alter the pitch and speed of any sample with little to no artifacts. Tooltips have been implemented throughout the multi-sampler to make it even easier and more intuitive to navigate. Simply hover the mouse over any of the core parameters and a text box will appear detailing its functionality. This new feature can dramatically speed up your workflow. When right clicking on a single note, the option is there to quickly duplicate and pitch it up or down. This makes sample mapping quick and easy. Another huge time saver is multi select and edit. Simply select multiple sound layers and adjust the parameters of each simultaneously. When dragging a sound font library into the multi-sampler, the user is presented with a box allowing you to choose an instrument. Simply make a selection and the sound layers are brought into the multi-sampler and mapped as expected. Waveform 9.3 now allows you to drag track presets onto existing tracks. This option speeds up your workflow tremendously and makes easy work of editing and arranging track loops. Windows users now have options as to how their plugins are scaled. These can be toggled on or off using the DPI Aware option. Without the DPI Aware option on, plugins will be bitmap stretched to the correct window size. They will be a bit blurry as a result. Turning DPI Aware on means plugins that have high DPI modes will appear the correct size and appear sharper. Plugins without high DPI modes will appear small but sharp with DPI Aware on. So that's it for the 9.3 update, available now for download. Please check the Traction channel for more videos and tutorials.